All right, out to the very competitive NBA Western Conference. Here's my NBA Western Conference predictions for the 2019-2020 season. At number one, the LA Clippers, the addition of Kawhi Leonard and George. Oh my goodness, the always, it feels like 35 years in a row, Lou Williams is either winning or in the talk conversation for six men of the year award. Montrez Harrell, Mo Hark, Harkless, Harkless, what a good addition. I really love that addition that they made. Patrick Beverly, top-notch defender. The Clippers should be very competitive. That This is another team that's going to come down to health, and I think that's a big issue for a couple of the LA teams um, this year going forward. But they are the cream of the crop with the best player in the NBA coming off another championship, Kawhi Leonard. Nothing but good things to say about him, except I wish your decision was to stay in Toronto. So be it. I get it. You got two titles. You want to go home. You want to be with family. Bless all the best to you in the future. Denver Nuggets are my number two ranked team in the West. 54 wins last year. Second place in the West. A decent playoff run. Bringing back pretty much the same team. Nikolai Jokic. Oh my goodness. Phenomenal player. Top tier center in the NBA. Paul Millsap. Will Barton. Jamal Murray. Gary Harris. Added defensive minded. Jeremiah Grant, it just just top 10 depth. They got 10 solid NBA players. They got a backup player for every starter who's, you, you don't really lose quality and play. Well, you do lose quality and play, but the drop off is very minimal compared to what other NBA teams face and have. Number three for me in the West is the Utah Jazz. I'm a big believer in the Utah Jazz. People seem to ignore them all the time. And Mike Connolly coming over from Memphis Gri Grizzlies. What a great addition to go with all-star Donovan Mitchell. A young budding star, Donovan Mitchell. I think he should be an all-star. Um, Mr. Reliable Joe Ingles. The, like... Joe Ingles, he, even his name is just a, a bland name, but the dude just reliable in every facet of the game. He'll do whatever you need, a team player through and through. Ed Davids, Bogdanovich, Sniper. Oh, they, they got a little bit of everything. I really like the Utah Jazz a lot this year, and I think they'll be competing in the Western Conference. LA Lakers, to me, is the fourth in the West, and that's just because I don't see Anthony Davis and LeBron James both staying healthy for the year, and they have no depth. No doubt. They got Danny Green. Okay. And who else do you have with, with the Lakers? Rajon Rondo, Kuzma, McGee. So to me, the, the Lakers, if you're just talking starting five, and if they're healthy in the playoffs, then yes, I'll be picking them to make a deep, deep playoff run. But the reason they're ranked fourth is, again, health. I don't see Anthony Davis playing a full year. He hasn't proven it to me yet in his young career. And LeBron James started to show some signs of injuries last year. I know he spends a lot on personal trainers, and I'm a big LeBron fan, big LeBron supporter in a lot of ways. But the Lakers, you're ranked fourth for me because I think load management will be a key issue for you guys going forward this year. Houston Rockets, Harden Westbrook. It's hard to, to deny this combination isn't going to be so fucking fun to watch this year. They should be one of the more exciting teams, but... Don't expect to see any defense. I don't expect to see any games where either team scores under 110, 115 points. These two teams, they bet the over in almost every Houston Rockets game this year. I think there's going to be shots galore. I think they're going to jack 53s a game. I don't think sharing the ball is going to be an issue because I think you're going to have 80 to 100 shots in a game, but for the Houston Rockets, and 70 of those will be taken by Harden and Westbrook. They're both going to get 30, 35 shots a game. And the rest of the team are the ones who are going to be looking for the ball. So if they can get players to surround them too that are willing to play defense and just be a distraction on offense or grab offensive rebounds, then Houston could be a surprise this year. Portland Trail Blazers, the best backcourt duel, Lillard and CJ McCollum. Portland my goodness, I, I just don't know what to make of Portland. So I got them ranked six right now in the West. It's a tough, tough conference. As everybody knows, the West is totally up for grabs almost every single year for the last decade or so. It has been the better conference overall from top to bottom. The East is very top heavy with the first three to six teams, depending on the last 10 years, how far back you want to go and talk about it. For the West is dominant. It's 11 deep out of the 15 teams always seem to be competitive, sometimes even 12 or 13. So Portland comes in at six for me in the West, followed by the Golden State Warriors. Draymond Green, Steph Curry, 
should be enough to keep the Warriors afloat and in contention for a playoff spot. Um, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, like I said, should be all up for grabs and these next few teams should all be battling for the final two playoff spots in the West. Uh, hopefully... D'Angelo Russell can play well and Klay Thompson can return somewhere after January or somewhere close to the All-Star break for Golden State to sort of get healthy and be on the rise again come playoff time. I don't expect them to go very deep, but with Steph Curry, you never know. Draymond Green, great player. Dallas Mavericks coming next for me. Porzingis coming over from the Knicks late last year. He's got a full season now to play in Dallas. They should be in contention. Sacramento Kings, Minnesota Timberwolves. New Orleans Pelicans. I have all of them battling and the San Antonio Spurs, sorry. I have all those teams battling with Golden State for the final two playoff spots in the West, but the order I said them is the order I see them right now, but it wouldn't surprise me if any of them teams flipped in reversed orders, followed by the Phoenix Suns, OKC Thunder, and Memphis Grizzlies to round out the Western Conference. Those are my West Coast picks, Western Conference picks. Peace.